The 19th Maccabiah will officially kick off on July 18th, but today the media got the first sneak peek on what is built up to be the biggest sporting event in Jewish history. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to present to you the For Jerusalem Mayor Nir Barkat welcoming in his city 9,000 athletes from 70 countries who will compete in 42 sports events is a dream come true. When I started my role as mayor, I defined that Jerusalem has huge potential in culture and sports. And we've initiated major campaigns, may it be the marathon, the Euro 21 championship, uh, we've invested in the uh, Teddy Stadium and we're building an arena for basketball and lots of cultural events. Uh, and I realized that the Maccabee Games has to come to Jerusalem. Sports people around the world, Jewish people, sports people, and the connection to Jerusalem is key to the success of the Maccabee Games. And it was very clear to me that we have to bring the Maccabee Games to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is scaling to, uh, sc to cope with uh, uh, many, many tourists. We're going to have 40,000 hotel nights just in Jerusalem alone due to the Maccabee Games. Uh, so the hotels and the restaurants and the taxi drivers, the whole infrastructure is actually, um, the expectation is very, very high. The Maccabee Games has very big uh, influence on our economy as well. Um, this is very important for local uh, um, uh, stores and restaurants and, and, and the, uh, the whole economy of Jerusalem. And there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to have, uh, that effect is going to be uh, for long term for Jerusalem. The chairman of the Maccabiah, Amir Pellad, is extremely proud that the organizers managed to get 25 new countries to participate in the games. The major delegation grew up, they are bigger, they are stronger, uh, uh, to make tryouts, to be part of uh, uh, the, basket, the American basketball, it's 1 to 30. It's more than Sayeret Matkal in Israel, okay? And the same about the ice hockey of the Canadians. But uh, I'm talking about two years of practicing to come over to be part of the Maccabiah. We decided this Maccabiah that we try to open the Maccabiah to delegations that never have been in Israel before, okay? You talk about Cuba, for example delegation from Central America and you talk about Nicaragua, okay? You talk about uh, from the old USSR about countries that never, never came over to Israel to any kind of an event and they are coming to the Maccabiah. We have 25 new delegations coming, okay? So that's something that again we are very proud of. Ran Zaho, who is responsible for the extravagant opening ceremony, reveals to us who the stars of his show will be. It's a very uh, unique and special Maccabia for me because uh, first time as a, a sportman uh, I'm riding bicycle, I'm also directing the opening ceremony and I'm also um, racing in the two bicycle race that's going to be in Maccabia, also the time trial and the road race and exciting about the three of them. It's going to come an Israeli Jewish uh, Jerusalem celebration in a, in, a, in a rock concert. Okay, three or four big, huge um, uh, picture item, um, and we uh, built a huge uh, stage, and it's going to be a big, full, full of um, uh, music, inspir inspirational music, touching music. Rock music, Carly Rose uh, Sonclair, she's a 14 year old girl, amazing, when, you know, and we're gonna do a surprise uh, with her. Rami Kleinstein, if uh, you know about him, there is a, a young, um, promising uh, talent as uh, Sivan Talmo, uh, but you don't hear about it, but she's amazing, a very unique um, a musical chorus, and um, more than 500 uh, Israeli dancer. A lot of uh, pyrotechnic, laser, all the LED screen, all the thing that um, Big Show needs. So the countdown has begun. Thousands of athletes are already making their way to Israel this moment, and the whole country is getting into a very festive mode. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Maccabea Press Conference in Jerusalem.